Hey guys, Alex here with TFL Bike. Case is behind the camera today and we have the comparison everybody has been waiting for on the channel. Might be kidding a little bit, but we have two awesome Honda mini bikes here, old versus new. We have a 1980 XR80 and then a 2018 CRF 110F. This is my bike. That is one of Case's house bikes, belongs to his roommate, but he uses it all the time and we're gonna figure out which one's best in this video. Starting with the old, we have, of course, like Alex mentioned, the 1980 Honda XR80. Uh, little known fact, the single best motorcycle that's ever been made, this one in particular. My roommate bought this for $1,000. Uh, he genuinely does not know that I borrowed this for this video today, but, um, you know, I'm not worried about it. Uh, a couple interesting things about this bike, supposedly, it has a rebuilt engine, which I actually kind of believe, because if you look here on the side of the motor, you can see what does look like a pretty fresh gasket, and also, it definitely seems like the previous engine might have exploded a little bit and blown some oil into the exhaust, because when you get this bike up to temperature, it starts burning off some of the oil that's still in this old exhaust, and it blows a lot of oil like a mosquito fogger, but it's got all the sketchy bits that you would want out of a bike. One of my favorites is the run switch right here. Um, off is run and run is off. We've tried switching the wires around, does not work that way. Look how easy that kicks over. So this bike loves to run and it really likes to be given a lot of throttle. Sometimes it idles really high, sometimes it just dies out on its own. Uh, the carb tuning on this bike is kind of a mystery. Not that we've really put all that much effort into trying to get it to run properly, because the whole point of this bike is to not care too much. We mostly use it to do wheelies in our front yard and uh, yeah, smash it on top of rocks. Let's see what Alex brought. And this is my 2018 Honda CRF 110F. Definitely more displacement than Honda's. This is kind of like a little lawnmower engine, uh, but I'm pretty sure when we get to the drag race, I'm gonna smoke case due to that extra power. Uh, I bought this for 1500 bucks. Like I said, it's a 2018, and I think 1500 bucks is a lot of money for a toy like this, but I still think I got a really good deal on it. Um, Two years ago, Honda came out with an updated version of this bike that is fuel injected, and they became extremely popular. They're so hard to find. They go for well over sticker, even used, and these exploded in popularity because of that too, but I was able to find one about three minutes away from my house, and the guy wasn't asking too much for it, so I snagged it. Not sure how long I'm gonna keep it, but I really, really like it. Couple things about it. Uh, first of all, kickstand, which is nice. I know Case has that too, but I use this to mob around town, go grab some groceries, go to the corner store, so it's nice to have that. Also, I have a key, so not that someone couldn't pick this whole bike up and walk away with it, but just adds a little bit of a theft deterrent there, having a key, which is pretty cool. Mostly, I leave it in the ignition all the time anyway. Also, my kill switch works the way it should, which is a nice safety feature, uh, but look at this, electric start. So easy. Electric starting so is for the easy. Week. I have a Kickstarter too. Electric starting is just so much easier. Don't have to worry about it. I ride this bike when I'm tired after a long day of work. I don't want to deal with any of that. Also, kind of the main reason I bought this also like Case doing wheelies, just mobbing around the neighborhood, but I do a lot of track days on my KTM, and this is how I get around the pit area when I go to the track, so. I have a question. Yeah. That, that was a question. That was a question. Uh, how do you do wheelies when you don't even have a clutch rider? Oh, you know, just first gear, and you gotta just use your feet a little bit. I'm, I'm not that great at wheelies, I'll be the first one to admit that, but that's also part of the reason why I bought this bike. I wanna get better at them, but you gotta start with the foot draggers, and then you can kind of walk with the bike, and then eventually the idea is to get your feet up. But, All right, well, let's... you know. Something like that. We'll get some better clips. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's do ourselves a little wheelie comparison here. All right, let's do it. Not super great at wheelies, but 
Case said it's impossible. You just got to get your foot down, kind of lift with your foot and then get your feet up. Lifting the feet up is the part I'm working on still, but you know, it'll just get better with time. All right, let's see what's up with the 80. Let's do it. Unlike the 110, you have to have some hair on your chest. Whew, I'm telling you, to ride this 80. And to wheelie it, you really have to fully commit. I mean, ring it out, drop the clutch, and really toss your weight back. Otherwise, it's just not going to do it because you might be surprised to hear it doesn't have tons and tons of power. So um, let's try it. So like Alex, if you want to learn how to wheelie, don't watch me. But it's still a blast popping the front end up on this bike. Granted, the throttle is a little either on or off, and uh, that front end comes up pretty quick because this bike does not have a lot of mass. So it's either going back or it's not coming up at all. But uh, I do like having a clutch on my mini bike. That much I can say confidently. Yeah, and before I get the comments saying, there's a clutch on the bike, there's a clutch, it's just in the foot, I know. You can't use, uh, obviously you don't have a, a hand clutch up here, and if you kind of half click down on the shifter, you can get the clutch to engage, but you're gonna wear things out really fast doing that. So it's better to just load up the front suspension and kind of give it gas and pull it up or do what I was doing and use the feet. Let's do a zero to 60. Let's do a zero to 60. I don't think we're gonna hit 60. Oh no, not to 60. Let's do a zero to until we pass the camera. Uh, I'm sure people are really interested to see this great consumer advice of which bike is faster. That was barely, barely. Having that extra displacement seems to work. It's barely. Little, I know. I was expecting more of a gap, but it didn't happen. So, a little disappointed. Let's do a rev battle. Let's do a rev battle. Watch as the infallible XR80 starts with one kick once again. Listen to those revs. Woo! Let's see how uh, Alex's 110 sounds. Watch this, mine will start with zero kicks. Oh yeah, lame. And I think Case will agree with me. This one is, is the one you want because uh, we both ride these around the neighborhood and this one's a little quieter. Yeah, especially when it's idling, like right now, it is actually kind of nice to have a quiet bike so that people don't get mad when you're wheeling in their backyard. So, yeah, quieter might actually be better. Quieter's this is like better reverse, in this case. Yeah. This is like a reverse rev battle. If you get a mini bike like one of these, please don't put a pipe on it. Leave it quiet. Yeah, no one, no one's impressed by the noise that your mini bike makes. Not at all. Finally, we have to compare the sizes of these two bikes. They're both very small, but in overall dimensions, they're pretty similar in size. Uh, like we've been mentioning, this is an 80 and this is a 110, so this does have a slightly bigger motor, but their overall footprint is not too different. Actually, the seat height on this 110 seems like it's a little bit higher than it is on the 80, but my 80 right here has a 16 inch front wheel as opposed to Alex's 14. The 80 also has a 14 inch rear wheel as opposed to Alex's 12 inch. And that's of course because I use this XR80 to tackle gnarly trails. Sure. Um, I do. Actually, this is a great trail bike because you're never intimidated by anything. And if the bike can't get up something, then you just stand up on top of it and let the bike walk up as you shuffle all over it. Now something else interesting to note about the fantastic XR80 is if you look down here, you'll see overall 
ground clearance in the middle of the bike is pretty similar on these two, but on the 110, it's the exhaust pointing at the ground, whereas on this, we have this uh, soda can material skid plate. So I would definitely rather bash that into the rock. I agree. It's nice that you have a skid plate. And if I were actually serious about keeping this bike any amount of time and didn't feel horrible about putting money into it, I'd probably throw a skid plate on there, but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't oh. matter. I'll smash the exhaust. Yeah, the whole point of these bikes is just to do as little actual work and serious things to them and then just enjoy the hell out of them and beat them up, throw them at rocks, and not really worry about it one bit. That's exactly right. So that's pretty much all. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see more of these two bikes. I think there's a lot of cool things yeah, that Yeah, I think do. we should get them out on the trails. I also am yep. curious to hear in the comments below if you had to pick one of these, which one you would go with, old or new? Especially keeping in mind that this was two-thirds the price of the 110. There you go. <sighs> Chef's kiss. Gotta love that. So yeah, mini bikes are extremely fun. We don't feel like we're working right now, even though we're hard at work making a video. Yep. You, you can just have so much fun on mini bikes. And uh, if you're looking for something fun to do this summer, pick one of these up if you can find one at a good price, because... You'll be able to sell it if you want to, and you'll have a blast on it, and you'll never want to sell it. Yeah, you don't ever want to get rid of these. So, yeah, let us know what you want to see us do with these bikes in the comments, and we will catch you guys in the next video.